Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to make sure that your fencing mask fits you correctly. And Sean's going to help me out with this. Say hi, Sean. Hi. All right. First thing first, we're going to have Sean try on a mask that is definitely too small for him. So this is one of our small masks, and he's going to try and put that on. It should slide over your head and onto your face. And as you can see, that's not working for Sean. So this mask is definitely too small. Next size up, we have a medium mask. So Sean's going to give this a try. He's going to slide it over his head and pull it so it sits underneath his chin there. You can see this is actually a pretty tight fit. So Sean, tell us a little bit about how this one fits. Uh, I mean, I can get it on and my chin is sitting in the padding, but I can feel it kind of pushing up on my chin and it's not painful, but just kind of uncomfortable to wear. Right. And this one, you find it, it, when you try and speak, it's actually even worse, right? Yeah, if I try and open my mouth, it's worse. All right. So this is probably just a little bit too small for Sean. So we're going to try on the next size up. So this mask is a large. So Sean's going to pull that on. And now you can see if Sean turns his head left and right, the mask moves with him but, and, uh, and is fitting well. And you can see that the padding is nicely around his face. And Sean, if you speak, you don't have any trouble. Nope. Nice. My chin is sitting in the padding like before, but it's much less tightly pushing up on the bottom of my chin. And uh, if I push the mesh into my face, it doesn't really move around too much. Hardly at all. Excellent. And that's what you want. You don't want the mesh to be able to move around your face and potentially be pressed into your face if you're hit with a strike to the front or the side of your mask. All right, so let's see a mask that's too big for Sean. So this is an extra large, a 2XL actually. And when Sean puts this on, it looks okay. But if you turn your head back and forth, you can see how wobbly that is. The, the, uh, the, the parts on the inside of the mask are not nicely against his face. We really want a nice snug fit. If it can wobble like that, it's gonna wobble when you get hit by a sword and that's not gonna protect you. So this one is much too large for Sean. The other thing is, if I push straight back on the mask, it still doesn't touch my nose. But if I push at an angle, the nose, I don't know if you can see, but the mesh is actually touching the front of my nose. Uh, if that happens with force, it's not terribly One thing you can do to adjust the fit of your mask, if you've got a mask that's fitting well, but is a little bit tight on the top and bottom of your face, is you can actually squeeze the sides of your mask to change the shape of it a little bit so there's less of a circle and more of an oval, and that will help take that pressure off the top and bottom of your head. And when a mask is brand new, it's usually very circular. So uh, you can adjust your mask like this to make it fit a little bit better. You might be able to do it while it's on your head, or you might have to do it with it off your head as well. Just like that, press on the sides to change the shape of it a bit. And Sean is going to show us a brand new mask. So grab that mask there that's in the, the bag. So when you get a brand new mask, it's got this tongue piece that's at the back that points out straight. And what you want to do is bend that so that it sits against the back of your head the way that the other ones that Sean has tried on have. So you can see that the tongue has been bent back and down like that. And when you do that, you want to do that with your hands on the tongue. You don't just want to bend it. You want to use both hands and your thumbs like that to bend that the tongue down so that it goes against the back of your head. Great. So, hope that was helpful to teach you how to make sure that your mask fits, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!